channel again so guys in this video we will see how to fix the nba 2k24 random randomly kick out of the game so if you are facing this issue so you are not alone many have player facing this issue so in this video we will explore some troubleshooting step for resolve this issue okay so guys let's move okay first of all we check our nba server status sometimes the problem is from the end of the server so by seeing your server status you can visit the official side or the social media channel for any announcement regarding the server down or maintenance if the server having uh, issue then you can just wait for the few seconds few seconds few hours maybe it is depend on the backend team and developer team okay after that you can check uh, also verify your internet connections sometime you have not the stable internet connection and they will create this type of issues so while experiencing slow or internet connection it is suggested to reboot your wi-fi it's depend on the internet uses how often it is needed to be reboot your wi-fi router so by simply turn off your router and plug it from your all the devices and power supply and wait for the three minute and then plug it in plug it in again now wait for the few signals to come back and connect to the internet through it okay we have the third option so the guys third option is little bit technical so it's port forwarding so port forwarding can help ensure that your network traffic flows smoothly to one form of nbn okay to access your router setting and forwarding forward your the necessary port and we can specify the game support documentation so you can forward the necessary port so by forwarding your um, port you need ha uh, have to do some step so first of all you can open your browser on a device to connect your network and enter your ip address into your search bar where you need to log in as the administrative credential okay once you log in into your router setting then look for the port forwarding session and this may be labeled as port forwarding or a virtual server within the port forwarding section there should be an option to add a new port or forwarding rule then select the option to being the start up set up the process you will need to enter the needed information to create the port forwarding rule for nb24 after entering the necessary information save the port forwarding rules okay then uh, your router will apply the changes and setting and the necessary port of nb will be forward to the specified device or a network okay so make sure you can follow all the steps very carefully after we have the fifth step fourth step so guys fourth step is wait for the network update ensure that your driver is are up to dated and network devices can lead to update network you can follow these steps then you can identify a network adapter and model in your device manager on your windows or the system information utility after that you can visit the manufacturing website and common manufacturer include your intel real uh, real tech and qualcomm where you locate the support or the download section this section typically provide the access to the driver to download then find the download the light latest driver for your specific network module and install it your download driver following this installation command promote and follow the on, on screen instruction on your system and verify the update network and drive any function correctly after the installation now we have the fifth step so guys fifth step is check for the NAT type ensure that you have your network entity type is not restricting your ability to maintain the stable connection okay for check your entity type you can visit uh, navigate to your network setting on your gaming console or a pc to a specified location of your option will really depending on the platform look option relatable uh, to a network or a setting that's provide the information about your entity type okay after that once you look at the NAT type information, you should see its display or either open your moderate or stick. This classification indicates the level of access your device has to outer network over the internet. Okay. Now we have the sixth option. So guys, sixth option is minimize your packet loose and latency. High packet loose and latency can contribute the disconnection in the online game. Consider using the wired connection instead of Wi-Fi to minimize your packet loss. Additionally, close the bandwidth incentive application running in the background to reduce your latency. Then you have connect to the game device directly to your router and using the Ethernet cable instead of relaying your Wi-Fi. Shut down or limit your application. 
using where which using high bandwidth in background okay and ensure your router framework is up to date so these are the simple step to uh, minimize your packet losses and the latency after we have the seven steps so guys seven step is connect with the support team if all the above step is work not work and you having the same uh, issue yet then you have last option is connect with the support team they will be provide a better solution and better troubleshooting step to resolve your issue so guys thank you and have a nice day and subscribe our youtube channel for the further